Hi friends, it's day one of Winter Wing. Woohoo! One, two, one, two, three. I've been feeling so small. Watch the clock ticking off the wall. But tonight I'm letting it go. Spend my coin for sure. I'm gonna be myself, or I could be someone else. No one's stopping me now. I'm gonna skip my breaks, I'm gonna make mistakes. I just wanna feel alive. It's just what I do when I'm out, so try not to hold me down. Feel alive when I'm in this town. Look at those beautiful stars, I wanna drive. Barbara and I'm back with another video. Today I am daily vlogging for Winter Wing. It is day one. It is Monday the 3rd of January 2022 and I absolutely love this readathon. I love Gabby's channel and I love Olivia's channel and when they come together for Winter Wing and Summer Wing I just have to participate and take part. So this week I'm going to be daily vlogging. This is going to be going up from Tuesday every single day until next Monday. So I'm really, really excited for this one. I have got a dedicated TBR which I didn't upload to my channel. So I'm going to go over those quickly with you now and let you know what prompts that they fulfill. Well, actually, I might not. I might keep that a surprise just for the vlogs. I'll tell you what I'm going to be reading and why I want to read them. And I'm so excited for my TBR. This is what it currently looks like. And yeah... Happy day one of Winter Wine. I am so happy we're kicking it off today. So first of all, just to let you know, Aaron is actually away today and tomorrow. So it's just me with Novak on my own in the house. It is miserable. It is dull. It is grey. It's been raining all day and it's just not nice. Poop to winter weather, that's all I can say. But it's winter rain, so it's fine. I've been drinking lots of cups of tea. It currently is, let me just see what time it is. It is currently half two and my sister-in-law and niece have just been over for lunch with me and my mum and it was really, really nice to see them. I started my day just productively. I filmed a few videos this morning and I did some cleaning around the house. All of the Christmas attire and everything has been taken away. It's been put up into the loft. The house has been completely clean to an inch of its life yesterday. So yeah, really all I have to do is read now because Aaron's not here and there's nothing like annoying me. Not that he annoys me, but there's nothing stopping me from reading and there's nothing like he would be chatting to me in the background or he'd be talking to me and it's like, seriously, I'm trying to read here. But yeah, I love, 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 love spending time with Aaron, so I'm not complaining at all. But without further ado, I'm rambling on. Shall we just get into the books that I want to read this week? Okay, so the first one is for the novella prompt and this was heavily recommended to me in a booktuber recommendations list from Marcy Reads. I will link her channel down below. She is the queen of horror alongside a lot of other booktubers that I follow but Marcy is one of the nicest human beings that I've ever ever met and interacted with and she is really really lovely. I'm going to be reading Shirley Jackson's We Have Always Lived in the Castle. She recommended it as a short novella and a great read and a great quick read which is sometimes what you need for readathons just to get you started so really excited for this one also a recommendation from Gabby of her recommendations list when she was doing the prompts and talking about Winter Wayne on her announcement video I'm going to be reading Winter People for the set in, set in winter basically winter setting so the winter people by jennifer jennifer mcmahon I, I know that gabby absolutely loves this one and tries to get everybody she knows to read it and talks about it a lot so really excited for this one another one which has been sitting on my tbr for such a long time and shout out to katie my lovely friend katie for gifting this to me last year i have wanted to read this for so long now and i just haven't been able to get it on a tbr so winter wing is when it's happening it's actually going to happen tonight on my own sprints on my channel it's no exit guys by taylor adams and this is for when like snowy setting maybe because there's loads of snow on it so 
yay no exodus happening and i actually had spoke about this on instagram over the last week or so and the amount of comments i got from people telling me please pick that book up it's amazing so highly anticipating this is a five star we'll see how we go also a thriller thrilling and chilling ride prompt i am going to be reading this is really worrying me because i've heard that this is very it's it's a horror fest and it's very um hard to read and it's very graphic and yeah it will it will stay with you for a long time so i just want to go into it and make up my own mind but it is the girl next door by jack ketchum and i bought this last year after seeing it on i think it was marcy reed's channel i'm nearly sure and yeah she said some great things about it so we'll see how we go and then last but no my no means least i think for reading in the dark the prompt for reading in the dark i am going to be reading hide by neil patterson and this is a very 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 new release i think it was only like november or december of 2021 so i've wanted to get to this one for a while i had an arc of it and didn't get around to reading it so whenever i received it for christmas from my sister-in-law i just had to pick it up for winter wing so guys i'm really really excited for every single one of these books um tonight six o'clock i'm kicking off an hour early it's my normal monday night sprints and danny shell katie rebecca and me and someone else is there someone else joining us chelsea maybe yeah chelsea maybe are joining me on sprints this evening it's going to be a grand old party time so it'll be the first of the new year 2022 just to kick off obviously on my channel and i think what i'm going to pick up today on the sprints is because i haven't had a chance to read yet new exit by taylor adams because i'm just too excited so i'm just too excited for it so i actually have a bit of time to spare now um for an hour or so before i want to get myself organized and get novak out for a walk so i may actually just read a couple of chapters of this and see what i'm thinking and then yeah i don't know i'm just really really i hope i love it as much as everybody else i'm really really worried that i won't love it as much but yeah winter wing is here it's day one and yeah, I'll catch up with you all later on. Hello. Hi, Katie. Hello. Yay. Katie and Shell. And we're just waiting on da Danny and Rebecca. So it's a full house tonight. Woohoo. <laughs> All right, so I've just started a sprint with the girls there. We have about half an hour left and I've just read the first chapter of No Exit and I just wanted to come in and give you an idea of what I'm thinking about it so far. So for anybody that doesn't know what this is about, this is a really, really, what I would call a booktube darling. It's one that has been read by so many booktubers that I love and absolutely loved by them and I just have never gotten round to reading it or get it on to TPR so I knew when winter, winter Wing rolled round I had to do it. So yes, first chapter. <clears throat> Basically our main character is stranded and her car is, is not cooperating. There's a snowstorm and she's had to go to the nearest restroom, sort of like service station. Um, if you like and she's gone out to see if she can get some reception on her cell phone and she's coming back into the restroom and at the end of the chapter basically she sees that there is a kidnapped child in the back of one of the vans and handcuffed to the back window so basically that's what it's ended on and yeah what a cliffhanger of a first chapter talk about getting you gripped and getting you into this in the the first chapter it's amazing so yeah i have another 34 minutes here i'm just looking at the timing and i'm going to try and get another couple of chapters done and see what i think but so far so good Okay, friends so i've just logged off the sprints with the girls there we actually talked until well it's like 12 o'clock now and i'm absolutely knackered look at the state of me i'm a mess and i just need to go to bed but i wanted to come in and let you know how i got on with no exit so i'm making really good headway with it guys i'm actually on page 113 of this wonderful book there has just been a 
oh my god what the f moment um in the last 10 pages 15 pages so I mean I'm not even halfway through and I'm wondering how it's gonna wrap itself up because obviously we already know that there's a young girl in the back of a van being held in a dog cage and it has revealed who the people are that are holding her and yeah it's just my anxiety levels are at an all-time high like I'm sitting here tense as but I think that's why I wholeheartedly love thrillers so much because they literally put me through the ringer and this one is no exception. It's still sitting on a five star. I'm still loving it and yeah, I'm really, really glad I picked this one up for Winter Wing to start with. So obviously I haven't finished any books on my first day. That's absolutely fine. No pressure. There's no issue. Um, you know, reading's supposed to be fun. So I'm going to pick this back up in the morning when I get up and see if I can get it finished hopefully by lunchtime, but you'll see that in tomorrow's vlog. And yeah, let's see what we think. Hopefully the ending is going to blow me away. But this book has already blown me away already. So I don't know if it can do much more. But yeah, if you pick this one up, let me know in the comments down below what you thought of it. What you, what you rated it, first of all. And if you haven't picked it up, are you going to pick it up? Because I definitely think you should. So yeah, that's pretty much what's happening with that one. I am going to go to bed now, as I say, get Novak organised, going to my fur, a wee pee pee. And yeah hit bed and I guess all I can say is thanks for joining me for day one's vlog and I'll catch up with you all with more bookish content and antics tomorrow on day two's vlog. See you later!